Hi, Dale here at DLMR Trailer Sales, and I've got an opportunity to show you why it's so important to change, pull your mats out of your trailer and service your floor. If you're a heavy user of your trailer and you do use a lot of sawdust, it, you should do it at least three times a year because if you don't, I'm going to show you what starts to happen underneath those floor mats. These aluminum trailers that are almost all aluminum, and I'll always say that in my little demo tapes that I give you, um, most of the floors are sealed, where when a horse urinates, gets underneath the floor mats, that urine has nowhere to go. It just sits underneath there. These trailers have sealed floors, and the urine can't get down on the ground, and you don't have any air turbulence underneath the mats, and it just sits there and works away at the floor of the trailer. And a lot of people think aluminum doesn't rust. Well, it does. It's called oxidization. And let me show you what happens when you don't pull these mats out. These mats have, this trailer is four years old, and these mats have been pulled out once in four years. What you're seeing there, that white stuff, that's oxidization. That's a fancy word for aluminum rust. And if you come down here, and you start scraping away, that's all oxidization. And what happens is, is a lot of trailers that come into our dealership, we pull these mats and we actually see this oxidization so bad that the floor is riddled with holes. And if you notice, right in this one area, this is where the lady normally keeps her horse, urine gets trapped in here. And if you see this hump here, this is her sawdust. And where this came from is where the mats are actually butt together and the horse works around and the sawdust actually gets pushed in between the mats. And usually, this is where we find a lot of holes because the sawdust actually stays in there and holds the moisture. Now, this one's dry, but if you look here, this is wet. So, what I always recommend to people to do is when you've got this, wire brush this off. And after you've done wire brushing it, you want to look to see how much material actually went away and make sure you have no holes in the floor. Now if you look at this one, this trailer does have a thick floor and this is actually a plank floor where it snaps together. Some manufacturers don't use the style floor. It's actually a flat piece of aluminum laid down on the planks and it's not as thick as these floors are. So the plank floor, if you're going to get an aluminum trailer, this is a better way to go. But this is actually eating away at the aluminum floor. So this is one of the reasons you want to pull these mats. And I know mats are heavy and they're bulky to get out. One of the tricks is, is when you're getting these mats out, get yourself a pair of vice grips. Get in here. Stick a screwdriver up underneath there, take your vice grips, clamp the mat like this, so now you got something to grab, lift it up in the center, and the mat's out. Another trick is, is when you're taking these mats out, always keep them right side up, and try to keep them in order so when you go to put them back in, they fit back in easier. So if you have any questions or comments about floorings or what needs to be done, don't hesitate to give us a call or go ahead and give us an email.